Hey everyone, uh, I already have a Q&A video done and ready for upload, but I'm going to have to put that on the back burner for now because I don't want to piggyback videos again. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post it soon, but the reason being is a brother in the faith just sent me a video uh, that I think is very important. You need to check this out. Let's all go off the record for a minute. In World War II, six million Jews, because of their faith, were exterminated by Adolf Hitler. The cruelty was breathtaking. And it was only after six million were executed in ovens and worse that many nations finally stepped in to take down Hitler. But why did it take so long before the world finally stopped Hitler? Many said they did not know Hitler had these extermination camps. They had no idea. Yes, of course, there was no internet, no Twitter, no Facebook, no cable news. It was a very different time. Which brings me to now and to ISIS and Christians. We have proof, video proof. We have no excuses. ISIS is killing tens of thousands, including Christians, only because of their faith. So our generation, my generation, can either bury its head in the sand while the brutal beheadings continue, or we can stop it. And just as with the fight to stop Hitler, one nation can't fight ISIS alone. We need all the great nations, and we need one leader to lead all those nations. And if President Obama can't do it for whatever reason, maybe Chancellor Angela Merkel or Prime Minister David Cameron, I don't care who takes the lead. I just know what's right. My generation just can't continue to look the other way. And that's my off-the-record comment tonight. As you watched this short clip, one can only hope you came to the same conclusion many students of prophecy have decades ago. Just as we see American leaders getting more and more evil so as to instruct or indoctrinate the people as to the need for a moral leader in D.C. so as to bring in the expected the Vatican-approved leader, who would declare Roman Catholicism to be the only approved national religion, we see the same thing happening globally with the killing of Christians by the Vatican-inspired and controlled Islam. Not to mention, of course, the many wars, disasters, and immoral activity that has not only been embraced in most areas, it has been legalized so as to squash, or at least try to squash, all spiritual opposition. That being the case, one can see the long-prophesied need for a global leader to fight terror is going to be the next stream of talking points in the media that will no doubt be transcribed by the man of sin in Rome himself. The woman in the video says this at the end. She said, just as with the fight to stop Hitler, who, by the way, was just following orders of the Vatican, one nation can't fight ISIS alone. We need all the great nations and we need one leader to lead all those nations. Truth is, this was prophesied. She is literally sparking the interest of all her viewers to step up and demand a global leader for the world. Now, do you realize who has already applied for that job? Back in September of 2009, Roman Catholic-owned and operated Times Online stated the following. They said that the Pope is a global figure with huge moral authority. And since ISIS has repeatedly been declared a religious war in the mainstream media, their choice for a global leader who will gather all the nations together to fight them will have to be not only moral, but religious to boot. This is not only setting the stage for the Pope, who is the only one on the planet with 175 nations in his hip pocket right now, it's also laying the foundation for the Antichrist to finally appear. Now, do you see why the prophesied man of sin in the Vatican throughout history has always pushed their church politically forward over the centuries as the moral authority on earth, no matter how decadent their fruits have been? At present, almost 100% of all nations have literally bowed to the Pope, some on camera, no less, so as to declare him their moral leader today. It no longer takes a large lump of gray matter to see the writing on the wall here. Rome wants global control. Rome demands the Pope be that moral leader, and prophecy says they will have it for a very short period of time, right near the end. We are that close, brothers and sisters. My only question to you is, are you ready? Are you sure? God bless.